head east and Stormcast will show that. You can see there's a, that's a kind of a mess through 7 p.m. And this model is projecting this pretty well. It's just kind of reaching out towards Lincoln, but watch what happens. Everything just dives south into Kansas. So we could see a few flurries in south central and southeast Nebraska, but the heavier precipitation will be well to our south and east. And by Thursday morning and towards around noon, a lot of cloud cover, maybe some sunshine tr trying to peek out in parts of the panhandle. And this cloud cover will all eventually pull off to the east. Uh, but this is Thursday night and there's still quite a bit of uh, cloud cover out there. So I think tomorrow will be a cloudy day. The sun should come back on Friday. Temperatures tonight uh, between 20 and 25 degrees, which is still a little above average, uh, but this north wind at 10 to 25 miles per hour will likely give us wind chills around 10 to 15 degrees. So a definite blustery feel. Cloudy tonight, maybe a flurry or two in the Lincoln area, 23 degrees. That north wind though at 10 to 25 miles per hour. Highs tomorrow, uh, a little cooler than average. It's been a while. We haven't seen cooler than average temperatures for, uh, uh, for a good portion of January. So here you go, upper 20s, lower 30s, maybe the middle 30s. Uh, and uh, with that northwest wind, that's a cold wind at uh, 10 to 25 miles per hour. 32 will likely feel like the 20s, maybe even the teens for a good portion of the day. Short-lived Thursday and Friday, 32 and 37. So the cold uh, snap, I guess if you want to call it that, even though temperature is pretty close to normal, comes to an end on Saturday and Sunday. And we'll see those temperatures in the lower 50s. And then we cool off a little bit. Some rain showers possible on Monday, 43 degrees on Tuesday, a little light snow possible on Wednesday with those temperatures falling back into the 30s briefly, and then the lower 40s as we head towards the end of next week. So again, this uh, tomorrow's the coldest day out of the next 10, and uh, really it's closer to normal than we've been in some time. Yeah, not too bad at all, but it is nice to see, I know there are a few days out, but it's nice to see some moisture chances return to the forecast. We certainly need it, so hopefully mm -hmm. those uh, that need it can see it. Absolutely. Thank you, Rusty. A uh, positive day on Wall Street. The Dow